after now to the political fallout from this historic legal case. NBC senior Washington correspondent Hallie Jackson joins us with that part of the story. Hallie, good morning. I mean, the president has been fundraising, revving up support. Uh, in the short term, it seems like this indictment has been rocket fuel to his campaign. Yeah, for now, look at what they've raised, the money they've raised just since news of the indictment first came out last week. The Trump campaign says it's raked in more than $5 million, Savannah. They're selling, like, indictment swag and merch. They're leaning into this. And this new post-indictment online poll that's out shows that Mr. Trump has actually increased his lead over Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis. You see it here in a hypothetical one-on-one -on -one matchup. So, yes, Trump world is pointing to all of that, that revving up support, as you put it. But there's also a question that's been raised of how much this might be bravado, perhaps, in the face of legal problems. That said, there is a sense among many Republicans that this particular case, they back up Mr. Trump, saying they think it is politically motivated. As an example, one Republican who's no fan of Donald Trump tells me, hey, I want to see Mr. Trump go away, but I don't want to see him go to prison on this charge, which I think encapsulates some of the sentiment there. There's a major caveat to all of this, Savannah. We don't actually know, nobody knows right now, the specifics of what is actually in this indictment other than, of course, the prosecutor's office and the Manhattan DA's office. So that is something that a lot of people are looking to. Absolutely. Uh, th are there any poll numbers that show what voters think about the particular yeah. charges? Again, we don't know what the, the nature of the legal That's case right. is, but the fact of the indictment. Yeah, the fact that he's been indicted at all. There is this new ABC News Ipsos poll that shows half of Americans think these charges are serious. Nearly half, 45 percent, do think Mr. Trump should be charged with a crime. There's another recent poll that says most people think criminal charges should disqualify Donald Trump from running for president. By the way, they don't technically disqualify him. He can still run. He says he's going to. But through all these numbers, there's one important trend line, which are partisan divides. I'm sure you're not surprised to hear that. They're very clear. And this polling shows how Mr. Trump really has kept his grip on the party. 72 percent of Republicans say they think that Donald Trump has had a positive impact on the GOP. And nearly 80 percent, 8 in 10, see themselves as part of his MAGA movement overall. Savannah. All right. Hallie Jackson, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.